I am a here coming to you today with another detailed backup lesson this time we're gonna work on wayfaring stranger in the key of a minor I did a lead for this lesson a while back but I thought it'd be good to do a detailed backup lesson so I have the backup that I played at the beginning of the video all tabbed out I'm gonna play it exactly like I did at the beginning we're gonna break it all down and really for this lesson we're gonna work on kind of using some of our minor chord shapes all over the neck so we're gonna get some good practice with minor chords, we're going to get some good practice moving all over the neck. And I'm going to break down all the backup I played at the beginning of the video. And if you're watching the preview of this lesson, you can head over to my website, MikeHeadingMusic.com, and grab the full lesson. You'll get access to watch all the videos, and you can download the tabs and the practice tracks. All right, here's the backup lesson for Wayfaring Stranger in the key of A minor. All right, let's start breaking down this beginner backup lesson to Wayfaring Stranger. Let me play the first nine measures, and we'll start breaking it down. Here we go. times. And lastly, one time really slow. start with measure one so there's no pickup to this song the pickup is going to be the vocals I am a and we're going to start on poor wayfaring stranger so we're the the vocals are actually going to start the is, is the pickup we're going to start in measure one so let's get our, our basic chord shapes down before we move on so if you your a minor I'm just going to do a three finger a minor chord so I've got my second finger on the second fret of the third string my first finger on the first fret of the second string and my third finger on the second fret of the first string. It's basically like your C chord, if you've done that one, but you move your, your second finger to the th uh, second fret third string rather than the fourth string. You can also do like a four finger version, 
but I don't really use that one very often. If I want to do a four finger or a move back and forth, I'll just move my second finger back and forth rather than um, flipping the shape. I find that's easier for me. It's just if I want to play that lower string, I just move my finger back and forth. So that's just a little tip. So that's that's one shape we're going to use a lot. That's we can call that the A minor shape. Another shape that we're going to use a lot. Let's just go over it now. If you slide your your third finger up to the third fret and then your first and second fingers flip string. So your your first finger goes to the third string, your second finger goes to the the second string. So now I have and then I can slide back down and flip back. So that's A minor. And then if I slide up and flip that's D minor. So those are two shapes we're going to use a lot of. And it's really important to practice that flip. So notice how my third finger stays down. Because we're going to use those shapes all over the neck for different chords. So, so let's call this the A minor shape for this lesson. And let's call this the D minor shape. Okay, so we got A minor and D minor. So we're going to use those two shapes a lot. So let's, I was just going to want to go over them right off the bat. Okay, so let's start with just measure one. We're just going to do a classic forward roll. We're going to hit the thumb on the third string. And then we're going to do strings three, two, one, T-I-M twice. So we have a quarter note followed by eighth note. So one, two, and three, and four, and. The other thing I'd recommend without with this A minor position is don't push your second finger down too hard. If you push down too hard, you can see how it puts it a little bit sharp. So you just want to make sure that, that you're not pushing down too hard there. So let's just loop measure one a few times. That's a great kind of generic A minor roll that you could use over and over again. You can also add a little bit of a swing to this lesson if you wanted to. When I'm playing backup, a lot of times I'm just looking for what I call those kind of generic sounding rolls. They don't have a lot of melody. It's not really going to get in the way. The other thing you can do for this lesson, because it's kind of a spookier A minor, minor sound, is you could experiment where you're putting your hand on the, the your right hand on the banjo head. Up here it's going to be a little sweeter sounding. Here it's going to be a little har harsher, and that's kind of personal preference. I, I kind of tend to play this song a little bit sweeter, so I might move kind of more in the middle. So practice that roll as many times as you need to. We're going to use that one a bunch. It's just a classic forward roll pattern, and then for measure two, we're going to do a forward reverse roll with a hammer on. So I'm going to do an open two hammer on on the third string while doing a forward roll. So T I M. Don't hammer on too quick. And then we're gonna go up and hit the fifth string, and I just have my banjo tuned regular open G. So the fifth string, it'll work with the A minor. You don't really wanna hit it super hard, but we're gonna kinda of use the fifth string as a timekeeper in this lesson, so. And then we're gonna go backwards with the same shape. And then one more middle finger, so we have. If you're having trouble with the hammer on, just take it out. Remember, your right hand doesn't change whether you're doing the hammer on or not. Add the hammer on back. The key is not to do the hammer on too quickly, I think. So let's put those first two measures together. Again, we're just kind of setting a groove for the song to start. doing there and then measure three we're going to slide up to this a minor chord it's a bar chord i'm going to drop my thumb down and i'll show you how to do it so i'm going to slide up with my first finger from one to five and then i'm going to put my pinky on the seventh fret and i'm basically just going to play the two high strings i'm thinking out of this a minor chord here but to get up there it's hard to turn your hand and slide at the same time so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play the top two strings. 
So I'm gonna slide up with my first finger from one to five, put my pinky down on the seventh fret, and then my thumb comes down on my right hand, and I do the Foggy Mountain Breakdown Roll. So thumb middle, and then five, two, one, five. So we have Again, don't slide too quick. So it's one and two and three and four and. And then I'm, for measure four, I'm gonna stay up in this position, pinch strings two and one. So middle and index. And then my thumb comes down and I do that same foggy mountain roll. So we have. Those first four measures of A minor together. So we have. One more time. And for measure three and four, it's good practice, again, not hitting the fifth string too hard. So I'm gonna slide up. I'm gonna try and kind of accent my index and middle finger there to, to get, let those notes ring out louder. And if you hit the fifth string, you know, it's not the end of the world, but again, it's just good practice to not always play your thumb louder than the other notes. That's a very common beginner, kind of, not mistake, but, a beginner habit you get into, your thumb is usually the strongest, so it's easy to, to play all your thumb notes a lot louder than all the other ones. So for this lesson, it's just good practice to try and avoid that. And then right here, we're gonna go into basically this A minor chord up here at the seventh fret instead of the second fret, but we're gonna use different fingers. So we're gonna use our third finger, second finger, and pinky. So you're right here in this shape, five and seven. You're gonna add your, your second finger on the sixth fret of the second string, your third finger on the seventh fret of the third string. So again, you're in this shape, and then you're gonna put, go to this shape. So you can just practice pinching. And that's why I'm using my, pink, my pinky in this shape rather than flipping to this one because you're already we're gonna do that later on, but since you're already right here with your pinky down, it just makes sense to just add these two fingers. So again, I'm going from this A minor to this D minor chord. Again, connect these larger chords in your head. It'll help the positions make sense. You're not just sliding up into outer space. You're sliding up into a chord that you know. So again, your A minor, and then we're going to our D minor right here. We're gonna use that Foggy Mountain Breakdown style roll again. We're gonna pinch index and middle, and then your thumb comes down, do thumb middle, second string, first string, and then this time we're not gonna use the fifth string, we're just gonna use the third string. So we're gonna do three, two, one, a couple times in a row, uh, four rolls in a row. So it's basically two measures of D minor. You pinch, your thumb comes down, and then you do four rolls. So let's do four through six together. Here we go. Again, we're just looking for kind of generic sounding rolls that aren't gonna get in the way of the melody. We're not playing a lot of, of melodic licks, you know, changing the pitches. We're just kind of staying in these positions and doing a nice little roll in the background. That's all we're doing there. We're just trying to keep a roll going without getting in the way, and that's really important in backup. So here we go again. And then right here, keep your pinky down. You're gonna drop your thumb down and bar strings three, two, and one with your first finger and roll forward. So we're back to our A minor again. We're going from this D minor and then turning your hand back. That's also why we're using our pinky in this shape. If you're up here, 
it'd be hard to flip back. Remember, a lot of times in banjo, you have to think where are you going next and then work the fingers to, to help you get to the next part. So I knew, and obviously I wrote the arrangement, so that helps, but um, I knew that I wanted to get back to this position. So I, I didn't go to this shape with this finger up here like I would do it with my A minor because that frees me up to now roll back to my bar chord. So I, again, you wouldn't know this the first time you're learning a song, but if you start writing your own arrangements or you're just trying to figure out the, the fingering for a tab you're working on, always ask yourself where are you going next, okay? So here we go, let's try it. And then right here we're gonna do a little melodic lick. Let me play it and then I'll break it down. So we're in this shape. You're gonna keep rolling forward. So the last two notes of measure seven are thumb index. And then you're gonna cross the bar line into measure eight, complete that forward roll with your middle finger, and then hit the fifth string, and then quick slide your, your second finger to the fifth fret of the second string. So you use that fifth string to turn your hand. And then open first string. So you have, use that open string to turn your hand as well. And then put your first finger on the fifth fret of the third string and, and do strings three, two, one. And then back to your open second string and then down to the second fret of the third string. So you have. Let's do it, I'll do it really slow. Let's put seven and eight together, we have. Faster. And if you're having trouble, just do the right hand of measure eight. Add the left hand back. It's good traveling practice, traveling from this A minor back down to this A minor. We're just using a little lick. And then measure nine, we're back to our classic four roll we did in measure one. So thumb, and then two four rolls. And then we have a little fill lick in measure 10. Let me play it and then I'll break it down. So just a little pull off lick. We're gonna hit the second fret on the third string and then thumb middle outside strings, and then a little two open pull off on the third string, keep your rest of your shape down. So I like to push for that when I'm pushing up, and then down to the second fret on the fourth string. Again, that's that example I was talking about earlier of just moving my, my finger back and forth to play this A minor, or it kind of looks like a C, but I'm, in this case we're using it for an A minor chord. So that, let's put nine and 10 together, here we go. Now measure 11, we're gonna do a two measure four roll pattern. So move your second finger back to the second fret, third string, do four forward rolls. And then we need four more notes to make the two measures work out. So do thumb, index, thumb, middle. And you're gonna move your second finger, that's good practice you have. So let's play 11 and 12 together. That's a good one to, to loop. That's a two measure forward roll pattern I like to do. It's four forward rolls, so that's 12 notes. We need 16 notes total, so then we have four more notes needed. You can do thumb, index, thumb, middle, the alternating thumb roll, and it works out perfectly. So let's do nine through 12. Here we go, we have. Again. And then here's a D minor lick. Let me play it and then I'll break it down. Okay, 
So we're gonna hit the open four string twice. And then you're gonna use, we're gonna go in kind of a modified version of this chord and I'll show you why in a sec. You're basically, instead of going into this D minor, you're gonna take your second finger off, put your third finger where your second finger was. So you have second fret on the third string, third fret, second string, fourth string and, and third, or first string open, fourth string and first string. So you have, you hit that twice, one, two, and then middle finger, open first string, and then roll forward. Two. That's a great roll I like to do. And I'm doing it with these fingers to, again, help me play the next lick. So the next lick is put your second finger on the third fret of the fourth string. Again, kind of like a, it's a D minor, but it's just harmonizing it with the lower string. And we're gonna do a forward reverse roll. So strings four, three, one. And then take your second finger off, open first, or a fourth string, excuse me, fourth string. And then flip back into your D7 chord, first finger, first fret, second string, second finger, second fret, third string. So you flip. So you have, use this open string to flip, and then you do a backwards roll. And then back to your A minor. So you have. Again, that's why I use these fingers to, to set me up. If I did it this way, now I'm kind of trapped to play that next line. So I, again, I looked ahead and I, I flipped the fingers. And then we're back to our A minor. And then we do our same lick in measure 10. another fill lick and then measure 16 second fret third string the strings three and one so a quarter note followed by eighth notes and then roll forward strings three two one and then one more fifth string and that's going to set up add your pinky on the third fret first string that's like a three finger f chord so you're going from this a minor to f which is going to start the chorus you have So you can practice, again, going from this A minor to this F. Take your third finger off. That helps to give a little relief. So you got A minor, F. So that's the whole first verse backup. Let's play the whole thing, and then we'll listen to me and Clint do it. Here we go. Let's listen to me and Clint do that twice. I am a Let's break down the chorus.